Mountain biking is a very demanding sport, not only in terms of endurance, but also with regards to power and coordination. As a rider, you always need power and coordination at the same time, whether going downhill, accelerating, or simply when managing tricky trail situations. Today I'm showing you some simple exercises that everybody can do back home, um, but they are really efficient to get fitter and faster on the bike. Okay, here we have a, a shoulder and arm exercise. It's also really, uh, it's also the core. Um, it's always like, you need some balance and then take your arms and you pull that thing that is around five kilos. You have to stabilize your core quite hard. Easier, you just leave that. You just take something to pull. You can also take a, a five kilo uh, weight or a, a bottle, a two, two liter bottle or something. Even easier is just to go like this. Or if you're a bit harder, you go like this. So that's arm and core, and especially shoulder. For recovery, I'm standing on a balance board, and I'm juggle. Try to uh, imagine I'm now in a race, and try to manage the rock garden as, as good as possible, and take a nice line. And that's 20 seconds recovery. You take a ball uh, in between zero kilos, you can also do it without, or up to five kilos. This is now a two kilos ball. Take it in between your legs. You go somewhere to a wall where you can hold. And then you go to the sides down. Never touch the ground and go quick up, slow down. Just sit on it. If it's easy, you can close your eyes. Makes it much more difficult. Here again, you can like imagine you are in a race. You take a, take a rock garden or a jump, and that's a really good one for the legs. It's like if you pedal, we always train just to to push down the pedals, but you also have to pull a little bit, and that's a really good exercise to to pull the pedal up. Take the balance board, hands in the riding direction. Pull up, you push enough down. To make it easier, you just can take a bit less weight. Depends also about the floor. If the floor is really, if it's a bit slippery or then it makes it much easier. So that's five kilos. The green one was 10 kilos. If this is still too hard, you do it without the balance board. What's also really good for core covering is hula hoop. If it, you want to have it harder or more difficult, you do the same on the balance board. If you have one of those pedalos, an old skateboard, up and back. Super tough one, um, go on the balance board, down. Then you do a push up and up, and then you try to lift one arm up. Push up. If this is too hard, you do with two legs, down. You have, if you have one of those benches, the gym, or you can also do it on a, on a table or everywhere. Really important, a nice movement. You can close your eyes. You can also here imagine you are riding. Recovery for legs. You can also do it on a balance board.
It's actually again all my my arms exercise what I'm showing today. It's again a lot of shoulder and core. Core is anyway the most important thing. You can also use that. But the pedal is actually the best because and if you have one of those pedals, just try to go as far, as far as you can. Just go that not that far and you go back. Close your eyes. Showed you before. That's a really good flex exercise. You have to jump. Make sure about your uh, orientation. So the idea is to, to jump from the bench down. Look straight to the other side. Jump up and look again straight out. And if it's too hard, you just do it less reps. You just wait up here. You do one jump and then you wait again. Do the next jump, you wait. Back again on the ball of sport. Juggling. This one here is a really special one. You need arm. You stand on a Swiss ball. Best is if you have a whole handlebar. Take your old handlebar. Put some weight on. Same position on the bike. And then you go slowly down, slowly up much easier if you stop sometimes up uh, at the top or the bottom but the idea is to never stop that. If this is too difficult you can uh, take something like this. You just after half time you change your leg. For recovery legs Put the front, sometimes the left. And also here, also always important. You have to look in the riding direction and not down. Always where you wanna, wanna ride next. Next one is, right on. 